Good morning, all you amazing people. All right, low down on what happened this uh, last few days. So I had to come up here and I had to um, trench 18 inches deep uh, uh, for a gas line um, for the propane tank. And I did it. it took me uh, nearly all day to trench it and to cover it back up. But the problem was is because I have a bad shoulder, I really... I had to really take my, my, my wife helped too, trenching. So she, she, uh, she did a lot of work too, but I'm going to show you. And then after the trenching was done, uh, yeah, we finished off the electrical. The electrical is done. I got it all done. I got, uh, yeah, it, it, that took me all of Saturday to get the electrical done. Um, I, my wife was amazing. She cooked and was doing all the cleanup and stuff like that. And oh my God, the food was amazing. She's such an amazing, beautiful person. So let me show you a little walkthrough. So here's the gas line. And I trenched all the way down here. So what I wanted to do is because I'm going to be putting in a um, fire pit and uh, you know, a place that you could come out front and just sit down and relax. But I trenched all the way down here. I had to make sure that I had 10 foot clearances from everywhere for what I plan on doing in the front. And there is my propane tank. All done. So 10 feet in this area, once I get it all um, finished, uh, filled in and leveled and stuff, this is going to be like... Um, uh, an area that we'll have, we could come out front and we could just sit down and relax and have some lights up around us and, you know, just, you know, enjoy the front. The back, I'm planning on putting in a, uh, once I get that leveled off and all the dead trees cut and cleaned up and everything like that, is an outdoor kitchen is coming in here. So right in this area here would be a kitchen an outdoor kitchen so this is the plan build an outdoor kitchen here that way my wife can come down here cook but remember the even though as you can see the hill here there isn't going to be a hill <laughs> this all here has to be raised to this level which would take probably about 30 loads of sand and fill but it will get done and then once that's done um all that in the forest will be cleaned up you guys saw the the roughing in for the uh electrical so you know i showed that don't need to show it again same thing it's just that there's more and i just uh the last couple of hours i had to drain the water and so it doesn't freeze they're coming in they're coming in on next week wednesday to put the furnace in and to put the water heater in and to put the sump pump in. Uh, other than that, we're looking like we're going to be shut down for the winter because I just, it'll just be too cold. It'll be too cold to do anything. Um, me and my wife are going to come back up. The last thing we're going to do and hopefully get done before the snow flies and we can get access to the property is we're going to go in there and um, insulate, vapor barrier, and hopefully get the inspection. So now that I'm done the electrical, I'm gonna call and book an inspection, which I'll come up, but I'll come up, be in here, do it with the inspector, get the inspection done, hopefully it passes. If everything passes good, then I will uh, just go home, you know? Um, but if it's, if it's too late in the afternoon before he's done, then I'll stay here one night and get up really early in the morning and hit the road. But as I always say, have an amazing month an amazing week, and an amazing day. Take care.